what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Hillary Clinton, remember her? She has been forced to issue a lengthy explanation for her comments that attracted criticism from Republicans and Democrats for suggesting that white women voted the same way as their husbands did. She said this during a trip to India, where she also said that her voters were more wealthier than Trump's voters. Uh, she really didn't tell any lies, but you know, you can't hurt people's feelings. You just can't go around hurting people's feelings, even if what you're saying is true. You got a lot of snowflakes out there. You know how snowflakes typically vanish before they hit the ground? Like, people are very sensitive, man. You can't go around hurting people's feelings. Hillary Clinton came out black. I mean, she was blazing, man. She was like, pop, 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 pop. Boy, that criticism came. She went to backing up. She all on social media making all kind of apologies. But here's the deal. She didn't say anything false. She just hurt people's feelings because the truth of the matter is people vote the way that they're household vote typically and I mean like the head of the household typically because a house divided cannot stand even if that house is filthy even if it's a garbage household you gotta kinda be in line or aligned with the people who run the household the heads of the household I mean, what do, what do I look like laying up in bed with some woman who's voting opposite of the way that I vote, that votes outside of my political or social agenda? That don't even make sense. Social science actually backs up Hillary's anecdotal hunch. She was right in her analysis that women are often pressured by the men in their lives to vote a certain way specifically white straight women. White males are more often conservative. So if you hook up with a white male, you're going to be pressured to vote consistent with that ideology. So nothing groundbreaking there. If she really wants to come up with some type of conclusion why she lost, man, all she got to do is look in the mirror. I mean, you can look at the Russian collusion, you can look at the slow Trump supporters, the uneducated Trump supporters, the racist, all of them. But and, and, and the, but the, they're not the biggest reason. Though. The biggest reason why she lost is the Russian collusion, because it don't matter what the numbers would have came back. He would have been the president because they cheated. You can't be the cheat. That's the same thing that happened when Bush won. It didn't matter that the people wanted somebody else to be the president. It didn't matter that they wanted Al Gore. They had determined that Bush would be the president, and that's the way it went down. But if you want, she need a reason why she didn't get the votes. She didn't get a lot of people to vote for her. She just got to look in the mirror. And anybody who thinks that there's a remote chance that she'll ever be the president of the United States, you're wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You can stick a bottle of hot sauce up in that turkey. She's done. No more talk. What the haters talking about?